This story begins with a trio of friends, Hector, Daniel, and Rogelio. While in school, these friends thought on how they can help their community and help people become their best selves so they can grow up and help themselves and their families. They thought on creating a center that celebrates and expands on the best things about Compton. And what many people don't know is that the city of Compton has a very special place between its borders, and it's called Richland Farms. It is one of the few places in all of LA County that is zoned for agriculture and allows you to have all of your favorite farm animals, horses, goats, chickens, and cows. It's truly a gym. Unfortunately for the rest of Compton, they don't have an opportunity to experience all of the life lessons that you can learn from such a great place. At the moment, Compton is suffering from a number of issues, poorly ran schools, poorly ran city projects, a dwindling business infrastructure, lack of street improvement, gentrification, families being displaced, street vendors being attacked, gang violence, drug and alcohol abuse, street takeovers, and an overall lack of opportunity to name a few. But the trio have a plan to help. The trio have a strong background of the equestrian lifestyle and believe that they can help people with horses. And then came the idea to build the Compton Multicultural Equestrian Center. Since working from just an idea, the trio has graduated from California State University of Dominguez Hills and is currently working as teachers in the inner city. The team has dedicated their lives to improving the lives of others and since then has established a 501c3 nonprofit organization named Connecting Compton. The Compton Multicultural Equestrian Center will be a space that is heavily needed in our city and will be able to serve our families and children who are in the most need with a variety of service from offering equine therapy for children with disabilities to urban horse riding lessons to also training our next generation of equine Olympians and rodeo athletes free of charge. It will be a space for black and brown families to unite in a calm, tranquil and safe space it promotes a healthy family vibe, along with also offering housing for a number of local nonprofits who offer support services for our visitors. Connecting Compton has been blessed. They have the support of their local community, local and state politicians, local family owned businesses, and a large number of local nonprofit organizations that also work tirelessly to promote opportunity here in Compton. At the moment, Connecting Compton's primary goal is to acquire a vacant, unused brownfield site from the city of Compton that can be safely used to promote positive change. All right, Bill Radio has got him here. We're ready to ride. Trey Hosley. Let's see if we can add to a 77. There's so many kids that are so agile, so athletic, that hate school. And they just feel like they can't use that athletic ability to take them out of the city. You know, and I feel like a lot of kids waste that. Like, there's kids that play running back with me that were amazing. Shifty as hell, you know, could make any cut. Hand-eye coordination out of this world. Reaction time out of this world. But they didn't want to go to school, you know. So those guys basically either went to, you know, robbing shit or you know scamming whatever it may be they didn't feel like they had any other options where i feel like that same athletic ability is what puts you in the top five percent what's up man i'm randy savvy i'm the founder and executive director of compton cowboys compton junior equestrians and in the city of compton it's absolutely critical because we've seen over decades of all of us living here uh, the, the problems that our city has had uh, we've seen the problems in the community we've seen the pro the problems 
uh, from the ground level in the streets all the way up to leadership. And I think that how you foster a community is you start local, start at the ground level. And these animals and these horses, I'm telling you, it's nothing like it. And so we urge you to please support as much as you can in any capacity that you can, whether it's funding, partnerships, uh, uh, just visibility, uh, word of mouth, networking, some type of something. Uh, but I think that if we come to together collectively as a city and, and get this project established and rolling, I think the, the pride we will have in the city of Compton will be something like we've never seen. So my name is Ricardo Vasquez and our group name is uh, Rancho La Del Amo from North Long Beach, California. Mm. Horses basically changed my life. It kept me out of the streets. It changes everything once they see you on that horse. Like, I had an enemy that in high school, we used to run into each other and it was, it was always fight, fight, fight. And that one day I pulled down his block and he comes out and sees me. On my horse, everything goes away. Just, it would have changed people emotionally to be able to to be carefree. You know, a lot of people want to be hard. A lot of people want to be something they not, you know what I'm saying? But a question center will allow you to be you. I like riding through the streets, canals, train tracks. And I just like riding like groups of friends so it won't be like boring by yourself. Sometimes you see little kids and it's kind of cute that they're little and they're riding already. He's on a little pony. There's this little boy that's on Raymond Street. He has this little pony and he's like probably like five years old and he starts dancing that little pony. Uh, my name is Candace Leos. I'm the founder and executive director of Compton Advocates Coalition. We were founded in 2019 to educate and empower the community members. And I wholeheartedly support the Connecting Compton project and I hope I, we see this come to fruition in the city. Okay. All right, how you doing? I'm Guan Featherstone. Um, the project of placing an equestrian center within the uh, local area is uh, amazing to me. That's something that uh, I thought should have been happening. I hoped it happened uh, early on in, in, in the 2000s, but if it can happen now, it would be great because the community around here loves the environment. You know, um, Gene from Compton, California, 16 years old. Uh, all right, boy. Me having, you know, rodeo more closer to me where I'm at because it's so far, it makes it hard for me to stay consistent, you know, with chasing my dreams. So if rodeo is more closer to me, I'll be able to fulfill it faster than, you know, than that's planned. If you guys were to build this equestrian center in Compton, that shit would be flooded, bro. <laughs> be real, that shit would be flooded with kids, bro. Now, a lot of kids around here ask me, like, man, where can you ride horses at? But they don't really know about it because... Low key, like they be trying to hide this fool, but if we had something out there that's really big enough to like stamp Compton Road, it's gonna be, this is gonna be something that's gonna, you know, go on for generations, for real. If Compton was to be, you know, more improved with this, with this, this could be the first step, but you know, this connecting Compton can open up, you know, a lot of doors for a lot of people like me for sure too, but you know, uh, with my family and stuff, we really, it was really, you know, all hood politics and regular normal Compton stuff, but I low-key chose to draw away from that as I got older and started to pick my own path. I used to let my family, you know, pick my path for me, but as I got older and seen what I was really into and what I really had a passion for, I chose, you know, I picked up the rope and set it a gun. I feel like, you know, I would like, as a kid growing up in Compton who comes from, you know, games and just... The whole lifestyle of that, bro, I feel like horses, the connecting Compton thing will be, it's like a, a game youth reduction type of environment. Like, you could use this to get at, you know, different areas. So, definitely, this would be something good for the city. Not even alone the city, but people outside of the city who just from L.A., you know, watch just surrounding areas. You know, we could really bring California together as a whole if we, you know, do this right and get the right support with this.